Hi, this is an iPhone video on projectile motion and an interesting application. I've heard it called the monkey hunter experiment. So there's a monkey in a tree that sees that a hunter is aiming his gun at him. The monkey decides when he sees the hunter pull the trigger, he'll simply let go of the tree limb so that he'll drop below the bullet. So before we get started, one thing we want to note here is that in projectile motion, the X and Y movements are independent. Horizontal, or X, has no acceleration. Y has negative 9.81 meters per second squared, or minus G acceleration down. So here's a schematic of what's going on. Um, the origin's at the tip of the barrel. The gun is aimed at the monkey. To the left is positive x, up is positive y. The monkey is x meters away, or the tree is. And then the monkey's height is h. The velocity out of the barrel is v. And you can see you can break it into components vx and vy using theta. So the first thing we want to do is figure out how long will it take for the bullet to travel horizontally x meters to reach the falling monkey. So use your simple distance equation. Distance final equals distance initial plus velocity initial times time plus one half acceleration t squared. So in this case, the distance final is going to be x. Since he starts at the origin, di is zero. Vx is going to be v cosine theta. And since there's no acceleration in the horizontal movement, it simply turns out to be that x equals v cosine theta t. Solve for t, you take the distance divided by the time, I mean by the velocity, so you get time equals x over v cosine theta. So that's basically how long it's gonna take the bullet to reach the tree or the vertical line where the monkey's hanging. So the next question is, what will the height of the monkey be at time equals x over v cosine theta? And will that be the same as the height of the bullet, meaning the monkey and the bullet collide? So the height of the monkey, use your distance formula again. So D final is the height of the monkey is initial, since uh, the barrel tip is zero, his initial height in the Y is H. He has no initial velocity, so it's zero, and he's gonna accelerate at minus G. So basically substitute in um, x over v cosine theta for t squared, and you get height of the monkey is his original height minus g over 2 x squared over v squared cosine squared theta. So that's the height of the monkey. Now let's look at the height of the bullet. Use the same formula, only this time the distance final, since it's um, Initial distance is zero at the origin. It's got a V initial, which is VY, and it's gonna accelerate due to gravity down. So start subbing in, you get height of the bullet is V sine theta, which is the initial velocity, T, which is X over V cosine theta, minus G over two, X squared over V squared cosine squared theta. So when you start rearranging terms, you basically get V times x over v times sine theta over cosine theta. Well, that, the v's cancel out. Sine theta over cosine theta is tan theta, which if you go back, tan theta is just now h over x. So your equation becomes height of the bullet is x times h over x minus g over two x squared v squared cosine squared theta. Solve that further. Height of the bullet is h minus g over 2 x squared over v squared cosine squared theta. So the height of the bullet and the height of the monkey are equal. So in conclusion, the height of the monkey and the bullet will always be equal when the horizontal position of the bullet and the monkey are equal, x. The monkey will always be shot regardless of the initial velocity of the bullet if he uses the strategy to let go of the limb when he sees the trigger being pulled. That concludes my video on projectile motion.